Thomas, I work for Proclimber. We are actually the agent for the Minneapolis Blower Doors here in Australia. And I'm here today to actually run the blower door uh, test on this. So it's very important that we take a holistic approach and the blower door together with a few other diagnostic tools is just one way of demonstrating that we actually get the institute performance because at the moment um, most of the star ratings that we work with uh, are assumptions made on paper and uh, they are actually not often reflecting what we find in situ. Hi, I'm Peter Stoidler. I'm uh, from Passive House, Melbourne and uh, working with ProClima in terms of uh, building air tightness layers. Today we're using a blower door to do diagnostic work on this house, a typical Australian house in, in Melbourne. And what we're looking for is uh, to get a result on what the air infiltration is by this device to give us an idea of uh, where there are deficiencies and where we can make improvements in terms of the energy efficiency of this house. So uh, in terms of air infiltration and leakage into Australian buildings, what we should talk about is really the, the context, what we're experiencing now in terms of the built form. So in Australia it's quite uh, typical when we do blower door testing that we'll get something typically 10 to 15 air changes at 50 pascals. Sometimes we do get 20 to 25 air changes at 50 pascals. The modelling premise like first rate 5 or accurate or what the um, building regulations really expect for good energy um, efficiency, something like five air changes at 50 pascals. Um, that's not typically what we see today in, in Australian construction. In terms of the international context, uh, in Europe you'd be getting at least three to 1.5 air changes at 50 pascals, and the highest standard in, in the world is the passive house standard, and that's where we need to get under 0.6 uh, air changes at 50 pascals. What does that all mean? Why is that important? Insulation works when we don't have air infiltration. So we need still air in the insulation because that's what provides the insulation, it's our value. Once the air is moving through that insulation, it doesn't work. It's like having the window open or the building open. So measuring the air infiltration of buildings, really important in determining that the insulation works. So here we're looking at this recently installed window. Um, there's some losses or a difference in temperature through the glazing. Um, there's some on this left hand corner and physically I can see a gap there in the building so just in terms of you know that it isn't sealed up yet. So now that we have the uh, lower door fan, the frame and uh, the control unit and also the DG700 running um, we can actually run the whole blower door test uh, through the laptop. Pressure point building up again, it will zone in around that point, we'll collect 100 samples So we see here now the regression line, we had the uh, test result of 12.17 uh, air changes per hour under 50 uh, Pascal uh, pressure difference and what we actually did, we depressurized the building. So what we actually did, we sucked air out of the building and we had pressure onto the building envelope on the outside. Uh, sometimes we have hearts within the building envelope sealing better if there's pressure onto the building envelope and we want to find out if there might be maybe something that doesn't work that well in the other direction. So what we do now, we actually change here from depressurization to pressurization. Basically what we're doing, we're actually turning the fan around, we're pushing it into the building and then um, we just measure uh, our regression line that we will see in a minute. So what we're hoping to see is a straight line. Uh, we want to see a, a fairly straight line um, being relatively close to our measuring points. Um, and they're looking quite well uh, lined up. So. Um, just uh, 27, 28, 29, 30. Um, that's our baseline. And here we see our regression line yep. uh, coming through. And we just go to the result page. And what we find here is an, an N50, so the infiltration rate under yep. 50 Pascal measured with the blower door at 12.17, which is yep. uh, a good average for a yes. house built in this, um, this style in yep. this particular age and time. So that's all good. Thank you.